We're trying to reduce people's requirement of energy in a modern world where energy consumption is increasing. Energy usage is what we need to be focusing on as, as not just automotive engineers, but as a global community. Reducing the energy we use to get from A to B is our ultimate goal. We have mathematicians, we have engineers, we have chemists. We have, we have a variety of different skills. Without the expertise of each individual group, we couldn't have achieved the overall project targets. It's a concept car. Concepts are a challenge. The underlying design premise for the entire vehicle is to minimise energy demand by making the car as light as possible and as streamlined as possible. And the other is to deliver that amount of energy as efficiently as possible, which means you need a very efficient engine, which in turn leads you to having very low friction lubricants. You need to take a holistic approach to the entire car. It's really been going through the entire thing with a fine tooth comb. We've looked at it from the point of view that we want to make it as friendly to the consumer as possible. We allow the user to communicate to the smartphone uh, without uh, any distraction on the road. We wanted to create more connectivity between the user, uh, the smartphone and the vehicle. We're testing our car against three different vehicle archetypes. The testing that we're doing, it needs to be honest, it needs to be transparent. We get all types of vehicles from one-off designs up to fleet vehicles, military vehicles, and right down to even wheelchairs. The test on the engine only and the transmission only, that's the potential benefit that you will get. The vehicle test will give you the actual benefit. We developed test procedures to evaluate it against other vehicles in a real-world manner. It's exceeding the expectations that we had at the start of the programme. It's about showing what partnerships can achieve and beyond producing a vehicle which meets and exceeds all the targets we initially set for it, it's created a relationship between companies which will move forward. By going simplistically, you can get a very efficient car that is doable today rather than in 20 years' time. One of the beauties of this project is that there's the ability within an, a standard mature technology base to allow us to reduce our energy needs using existing technologies. I honestly don't see an end. I just see opportunities. And that is the challenge going forward. And I think we've, we've risen to that challenge and we continue to rise. <laughs>